a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. It is time for the Chupacabra. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Chupacabra, that basically uh, translates to the goat sucker. And that's what he is. He is a sucker of goats. I'm sure there's more to it. But anyways, uh, yeah, this was a drawing I believe I was uh, asked to do by a fellow YouTuber. Um, I don't know if they ended up using it or not. Uh, that's never really important to me, you know what I mean? I like drawing, so uh, if he has used it, great. If not, uh, hey, use it now. Anyways, uh, as, you, as you heard, the Chupacabra, he's a legendary, or he or she, whatever you want to look at, a legendary cryptid from Puerto Rico. Uh, it's been seen in other uh, South American areas as well, you know, sometimes in Mexico and whatnot. Uh, basically, it's a, uh, described as a cryptid that drinks the blood of livestock, usually goats. Um, its physical description has changed over the years. Um, there's, there's the classic Chupacabra, which is the one I'm trying to depict here. And then you've got another chupacabra type animal, which is more canine. Uh, um, personally, it looks like a, a coyote with mange or something along that lines. So very dog-like. I'm, I'm going with the original sighting. And in the physical description, they describe a heavy creature um, the size of a small bear with uh, rows of spines or quills that run down the length of its head to its neck. Um, it's usually described as a, a reptile-like creature with uh, leathery scales, uh, green to grayish skin, and as I said, the spines, or if you want to call them quills, that usually run from somewhere around the neck or head region, down the spine, and uh, off the tail. Uh, usually the, the chupacabra is around three to four feet tall, hops around like a kangaroo is how a lot of people have described it, and can get uh, a good leap of up to 20 feet or more. Uh, it has a hissing screech whenever it's seen. Usually the eyes will also turn red, and uh, there tends to be a sulfuric uh, smell in and around the area when these people see these creatures. So that's a, a lot of the information about it. As for uh, setting up the drawing, um, yeah, I, I, I went and found a bunch of different pictures of the Chupacabra online, uh, other artists' interpretations, because there's not really any real live pictures of the darn thing. So. And then I went from there. I, I'm trying to depict a creature that may be a little bit taller. This is up and around the five to six range, bipedal in nature, but also able to use its uh, four limbs to uh, maneuver and locomote. Um, it, well, I didn't quite draw it as thick as those original descriptions. I went with more of a sinewy, lean type of look, a very dangerous uh, predator. Personally, I think if this creature is out there and exists uh, in this form, the only thing that makes sense to me is some sort of government experiment uh, that uh, went awry and got lost or got out and is now uh, uh, basically killing a whole lot of goats. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I went with that kind of uh, um, design uh, with the tongue and uh, the two pronged teeth sort of standing over top of a dead goat with a nice sort of uh, South American type background in, in the back with a nice sort of sunrise or, or sunset going on. So yeah, I, and that's what I try to do. This is in my comic style, so uh, I lay it all out in pencil, then ink it, and then color it. I usually, even before I color, I have my paint set up so I know what kind of direction I'm going to go in. Uh, and in this one, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm depicting the Chupacabra uh, post uh, goat suck. So he's uh, standing over the dead creature. You can see a little bit of blood, and he has uh, sucked the blood out of the goat thus the name Goat Sucker. I'm sorry, I just like saying Goat Sucker. Goat Sucker! Goat Sucker! Goat Sucker! Goat Sucker! I think it's a way better name than Chupacabra. Mind you, it wouldn't have made a great song, I don't think. Anyways, like I said, this is my Chupacabra on YouTube. I uh, hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Also, pay attention. I'm going to be uploading a how-to, a how-to-draw the Chupacabra. There's another picture that I'll be uploading in a video, so for those of you that have your pencils and paints and inks ready, I'm going to try to lead you along and, and show you how I designed this particular Chupacabra. Thanks, Dreadfun out. This has been a Dreadfun.com production. Thanks for watching.